listen, I don't know who needs to hear this message, but the plan that you have for your life right now, God is saying, don't worry about that plan. I got another plan. I got an even bigger plan for you to follow through on. That's right. The Most High has another plan in the works that he wants you to carry out. You see, following through your own plans, and it's not based off Christ. It's not rooted in the Father. I'm here to tell you that those plans, that's not backed by the Most High. I'm here to tell you it's going to fail. It's going to fail. It's going to crumble. Because that plan is not from God. And see, God will let you know. He will send you signals. And he will, he has a way of showing you that your plan is not working. He will show you that that plan is whack. That it will not come to fruition. It's going to fail. Because he's not the one. He wasn't the one that was back in those plans. You were, with your own pride and ego, you thought this was going to work out because I had faith in it. But you see, you weren't trusting God with the plan. And you were not listening to what the plans was for your life. Because God was trying to tell you what those plans were. And you decided to ignore them. You decided that your plans were much better than his. You decided that your plans were going to work out more than the plans that he had for your life. And that's why some people, they they hit a, a wall. They have certain ideas that they're trying to that are trying to get off the ground and trying to make happen business ideas, business plans. And for some reason, they don't seem to work out. They have all this faith in it. They have all this trust in it. But it just fails. It just crumbles. And you're trying to figure out why. Why did this not work out for me? Maybe it's time for you to really evaluate, you know, what you're doing with your life. Evaluate, you know, the plans that you had for your life and really look at them. Really assess those plans. And be honest with yourself. Having... Have, have these plans actually worked for me? Have these plans actually changed my life? The plans I have for my life. Are they even working? Why aren't they working for me? Maybe I got to do something different. Maybe I got to change up my approach. Maybe I have to, I don't know, ask God. Ask the Lord what the plan is. Because of, of all these plans, I'm on plan five and it backfired again. I'm thinking to myself, what am I doing wrong? Because you will be pushed. You will be pushed to go to, to, go to the Lord for the real plan. Not some backup plan. The real plan. The real plan is is in the hands of the Father. The real plan is in, the, is in the hands of the Lord. He knows the real plan for your life. But the problem is you're not going to Him for that real plan. You're not seeking Him for it. Because once again, you're trusting your own will. You're trusting your own understanding. You're trusting your own, your own mind. You're trusting your own intelligence. You know, you're, you're trusting a man or a woman. You're trusting the world. And, the, and the, the Lord doesn't want you to trust the world. 
The Lord doesn't want you to trust a man or a woman. The Lord wants you to trust him with the plans, right? You let, you let the Lord show you what the plan is and you follow through with it. You tell, you tell the Lord, okay, I see the plan that you have for my life. I understand it. I see it. And I'm liking it. I'm going to do what you asked me to do, Lord. I'm going to do what you told me to do. That you already had planned out. I'm going to, I'm going to carry out the mission. I'm going to carry out the mission. And that's what I'm going to do. The reason why I didn't work out, all those plans didn't work out, was because it did not come from God. If it didn't come from God, best believe it's not going to work. Best believe it's not going to work. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Because you see in Jeremiah 29 11, the plans that he has for your life was already set in stone. It was already written out for you to follow. And a lot of people make the mistake of going along with their own plans. And this is something that I need to learn, that I need to learn for myself. Do not trust my own understanding. Do not trust my own plans. Do not trust my own ideas. Do not trust everything that came from me. Because if it didn't come from the Lord, if I'm seeing that it's not working out, clearly it's not working out for me. It did not come from the Lord. Because if I was really walking with Christ, everything that I do will be blessed. Everything. Everything that I do in my life will be blessed because I'm walking in Christ. I'm not just walking in my own understanding and thinking that I have all the answers when I don't. And a lot of people act like they have all the answers, they have everything figured out, they don't need to reevaluate things, they don't need to, you know, fall back for a while to reassess their life and to really seek the Lord. Because really, we only start to seek the Lord when we start to lose. When things are not working out in our favor, that's when we really seek the Most High. A lot of us do not seek the Lord when everything is going right. Because for a lot of us, there's no reason to seek the Lord. There's no reason to open up that Bible and to read it. Because everything is going good in life. Everything is going right. See, some things have to fail. Some things have to go south. Some things just have to go wrong in order for you to see the Lord. You have to lose certain things. You have to face hard times in order to see the Lord. That fifth plan that you have, that you're trying to make happen, that you're trying to get off the ground, it might have to fail. It might have to fail again just for the sake of seeking the Lord. Just for the sake of going to God for his plans for your life. You know what I'm saying? You may have you it may have to fail again just for you to go to God for the real plans. The actual mission. Okay? Not this mission that you made up in your own brain, but the mission that the Lord has for you to carry out. So that being said, amen to everybody. And thank you all for watching. And I uh, just want to give you all this message. Whoever needs it, 
make sure you like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you are new. This is Mr. Solo Dolo. And hopefully y'all gain some edification from watching this video. And gain, you know, a new understanding of how the Lord works. You know, how it's important to seek God when things are not working in your favor. When everything is failing, when all, when all else fails, seek the Lord.